For the Interabang, I'm Kate Otterbein. These halls have been the launching pad for many students studying music industry arts. One of those students was Havaya Mighty. She graduated from Fanshawe College in 2013, and now she has just become the first woman to win Best Rap Album of the Year at the Juno Awards. But this wasn't a surprise at all to program coordinator Dan Broadback. We had our first Share the Land concert, and we saw her there perform as a first year. And everybody's jaws dropped. We all, everybody afterwards gathered up and went, with, she's a rock star. Like, it's just a matter of time. It's not a joke that's not like, oh, we always knew. You always think somebody's really good, but not, that, that was, there's a next level um, of performer where they just get it. And she's just always had that, you know, that cheesy it factor, X factor stuff. That's what, it's just true. When Broadbeck saw that Mighty had won, he said he just reacted like his team had won the Super Bowl. He jumped up, hands in the air, screaming. Not only is this a big feat for a Fanshawe alumni, it's something that will change the trajectory of the Junos moving forward. It's a huge thing because it just gives people the idea like, oh, I, I guess I could win that. Or, you know, winning an award's not everything. There's lots of extremely famous people that have been and very successful and never won an award. They get nominated but don't win. They don't get nominated or recognized because they don't quite fit in a category. Um, but I, she, um, she doesn't take it lightly what she just did. And she knows what happened and what, how important that is. She would probably say the same thing. It's, it's a, it might feel like a big burden at first, but it's just a huge celebration to me. I mean, that's all we want is in our program too, is equality. Now, Mighty's Fanshawe family can't wait to see what her career will bring moving forward. For the Interabang, I'm Kate Otterbein.